Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So in this video, we're going to talk about best way to transform your workspace and boost productivity. Ramback tutorial. And right here, I'm currently inside the website called Rumbax. So basically, what is Rumbax? So the body name itself, this is a workspace simplifier. As you can see right here, this is the overview and how it looks like. And basically with this one, once you click on um, this option right here, it's available for Windows, Apple, and Linux. So choose one of the main operating systems and you're good to go. Best part about this one is it's technically free to sign up. So if I click on Windows right there, I'm just going to go to the website. Now welcome back to the video. Now once you're here, it's very simple. Click on this one right here and then install the installer. Start launching it up. However, if you have, again guys, if you have a Mac OS or Apple or Linux, please choose the specific operating system for your device. For mine, I'm going to go for Windows. And it looks really like this. Let me just go to Rambax right now. Now, welcome back to the video. Now, it should look like this. It's going to be an application where it's going to be inside everything you need. You don't have to multi-tab, multi-task, or basically alt-tab between your tabs. Now, you're going to see on the top section, we have File. We have Edit, View, Window, Tools, and Help. Those are the basic settings inside Rambax. And for this one, we have Google Workspace, which is under it. There is a subsection. So uh, there's a Google Workspace, we have Gmail, of course, with this one. We have Google Docs. As you can see right here, this true, this is going to be Calendar, and this is going to be Google Sheets. You're going to see they're grayed out. Basically, if you want them to enable, simply click on the Google Calendar right there, click on Enable, and as you can see, it's currently signed in within your account. So take note, if you're going to use Rambax, make sure you're going to be logged in to your desired Google account. Now, for example, right here again, guys, if you want to add your sections, for example, click in here to add applications. You have so much to choose from, starting from accounting, advertising, up to, I think, we can hear, we can see here up to Zoho, Apple, Google, Microsoft, Tax Management, and the works. There is also here for gaming. I think I saw it right here for gaming. Should be around here. Streaming platforms. This is for gaming, right? Now you also have blogging right here and the works. Now you can add your workspace basically clicking on this option right here. For example, I'm going to type in sample workspace. Just for discussion purposes, I'm going to do it right here for a layout. These are the grids for layout. And then simply click on add. And with that being said, guys, the third column right here would be my workspace, as you can see right there. Now, of course, if I want to go back to another application, for example, I want to go to my Discord, I should just simply sign in. Now, how can I go back on my workspace? Simply click on the Google Workspace right there. Under Google Workspace, there is going to be the one we created. And of course, we're going to have our sample workspace here. If you want to add some applications to your sample workspace, just click that plus button. Choose whatever you want here. For example, Canva. Click on Add right there. And then choose which workspace you want to choose them from. For example, right here, you can primary, inherit, or incognito. Make sure you choose one. Click on advanced right there. And this is going to be for coders. Take note about that one, okay? Click on add right here. Now I have Canva under my sample workspace. Take note, they're going to be in between or colliding between each other. So under the first workspace, that will be the main one. Under it would be the Google Workspace, which is going to be this five right here. Let me just enable Google Sheets. Perfect. And then if I want to enable the perfect sample workspace, I have it right here. Now, what if I want to delete it? Simply click on right click on each of the applications. You can enable, um, notify it for mute or remove the notifications. You can click on settings right here. For example, you want to remove your specific application. Easy as that. Same goes with workspaces, of course, guys, you can remove them also. However, you can also change them, for example, into a cognito. You want it to be a cook space work pre profile? No problem at all. Now you can display in tab right here or not, that will be by your own choosing. If I choose to remove this one, it's gonna be simple as that. Now, next up, let's talk about the extensions. To add extensions, it's gonna be looking like this the puzzle icon. So, applications, guys, are different to extensions. Take note about that one. Now, these are the available extension under Rumbax. We have starting from uBlock, that is going to be an up blocker. And my most favorite, 
Grammarly and Google Translate. We also have Facebook screen sharing right here. And there is more. So take note about those guys right here and you'll be good to go. And next up, let's talk about notification um, section. It should be around here somewhere. This is the part where basically it's a summary of what's happening for your inboxes, for basically, as the name suggests, notifications. You can enable focus mode. Focus mode, there is nothing to see, making sure that this is do not disturb mode also or DND on your phones. There is an option here to clear all notifications with one click right here. Everything is going to be cleared. Now, there is an option here to start. If I click on start right here, focus mode would be enabled for about 15 minutes. Of course, guys, I can change this one. For example, I want to lower it down. Simply click on start right there and you'll be good to go. Now, of course, we cannot forget about this powerful tool, the search feature. Now, we can do here, for example, we don't want to um, navigate through our, all of our apps. For example, there are hundreds of apps enabled here. Simply click on the search bar right there. Type in the one you're looking for. Click on OK and you'll be good to go. For example, I'm looking for Google Docs. If I click on that one, Google Docs would be open. How about we're looking for Gmail or Canva? Canva would be open. I can simply click on Wake Up to enable Canva. It's going to be easy as that. Everything you have will be inside your own bags. To increase your productivity, less distractions, and the works. So that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.